Hi, my name is Dr. Keith Hanlon and I'm a flute technician at Flute Authority. Have you ever noticed that your head joint is just less responsive than it used to be? Often the problem is with the head cork. So I'm going to show you a few things that might be the problem. The main reason to have your head cork changed regularly is because excess moisture from playing or not swabbing thoroughly can start to seep up into the cork. As you can see here, I've drawn some arrows where the water line has formed as the cork is beginning to fail. Once this happens, your head joint will be less resonant. If the head cork is not glued or not glued properly, the upper stopper plate can separate from the cork, allowing it to shift and creating a gap between the stopper plate and the cork. This gap that forms will cause your third octave to be unresponsive or very, very resistant. If the upper stopper plate separates from the cork, you will often hear a buzz or a rattle while playing. If you notice that you're having intonation problems between the octaves on your flute, take the cleaning rod that came with your flute. You'll notice there's a line on the bottom end. Insert that into the head joint tube and make sure that the line on the cleaning rod is in the center of the embouchure hole. When you check your head cork position, if you notice that the line on the cleaning rod is not centered in the embouchure hole, this means that your head cork stopper assembly is not in the proper position and you should take it to your technician. Here's the anatomy of a head cork stopper. The crown, which is the part that you can see, the upper stopper plate, the cork, and the lower stopper plate and post. This is where the head cork stopper is inside the head joint. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If it's been over a year since you've had your head cork changed, go to www.fluteauthority.com and make an appointment.